Welcome back. We're going to do mount offense. Two quick submissions today. One will be a choke and the other one will be an arm lock. I hope you enjoy. Storm, come on in. The first choke will be when I'm nice and low and I've underhooked the head. I'm maintaining good posture, I'm maintaining position. Now from here, I keep my head close to his so he's not aware as much what's going on on this side. What I'm doing on this side is setting up for the choke. I'm gonna apply these four fingers inside my sleeve from here. You don't know what's going on. From here, I lift up my head to create space for this hand to come in front of the neck. As it comes in front of the neck, I slide down and I just grab cloth. From here now, the motion, the technique, this, this is what applies the motion, that, the pressure for the choke. So once I have the four fingers inside the sleeve, I lift my head up, this hand slides in front of the neck, grab claw, and from here, and I get the tap. I'm hiding what I'm doing, four fingers in, I'm already positioning this hand in front of the neck, so the second I lift my head up, come over here, anchor, and I get the tap. This is the motion I want. Sometimes these people at the bottom get to be creative and take opportunity. So I'm giving them this hint. As I'm applying this choke and I lift my head and I come over, go ahead, he may decide to escape. From here, now I just apply the choke from the, from the guard. And get the tap. This one's a real sneaky one. You don't really... It, it, it may come fast to some people, some other people may need a little bit more reps, but it's four fingers inside the sleeve, you lift your head up, you slide in front, you anchor, and you apply this wrist motion, and you get the pressure. I bring my hand in front, I don't touch his neck, just bring it in front, so the second I lift up, I get the space, I anchor, get the top. Another submission, the first submission is when I have the back of his head, the second submission is when he anchors behind my head and I'm here. All I do, if he, he grabs my head with this arm, I grab my collar same side. I want to take a big step with my elbow. Big step with my elbow, foot up, push the head. Now this head is going to pressure to the mat as I push on his eye. See this? He lets go. Head on the mat, shin on the rib cage. This shin now comes in front of the neck. I readjust the head position, and from here, just, and get the tap. A lot of sensitivity is required right about here. My body is in the ways, it's really tough to understand what's going on. But I have my forearm here, right at the elbow, and I lift up. His wrist is at the crown of my neck. So this is pushing down and lifting up at the elbow. That's what I'm doing. So he grabs my head, I grab my collar. I take a big step with the elbow, and then I'm driving my head to the mat over here, but as this foot is up, I push his head, I take a big step with my head as this shin comes to the rib cage. Head in the mat, this shin at the neck, make a slight adjustment, apply pressure, get the tap. Let me give you a review for the two submissions today. I have, I have his head here. Second submission, he has my head, I grab my collar. choke and the other one's a another variation of a straight arm lock. Put in your reps. I promise you it will work for you and I look forward to seeing you in the mat soon.